In this video, you will understand what is private connectivity. So we have already discussed what is a private network and what is a public network. So for a simple example, let's say there is a private network. Take the case of your office. Now the office has a private network in which there are various computers which have various applications available and you might be sitting inside your office network on your laptop for example and when you are inside the network based on the firewall rules you will be able to access various computers based on what is configured but if you land up coming to your home which I will call as your home private network and in your home private network you have taken internet connectivity and to do that you would have reached an ISP who would have given you a router and using this you have access to the internet and when you say you have access to the internet you can visit anything which is configured by you on your router to be reachable. Now obviously the internet is a network by itself which I will call as the public network and what you can also realize is that your office could also have a proxy server which is basically configured as a means or a gateway to connect to the internet. So sitting in your office based on the firewall rules that has been given in your office network which I will title here as the office network you can access various services available on the internet sitting at home you can access various services available on the internet but if you are having a need where you want to connect from your home to a computer inside your office network it doesn't work because the IP addresses on these computers are private IP addresses so your organization might give you a means of establishing connectivity from your home to the office and to do that they give you the ability of connecting via VPN. So VPN is a means wherein over the internet which is the public network there is an encrypted means of sending traffic. So only those who have the right VPN software can use the internet and connect to the VPN and by connecting to the VPN they land up logging in to the private network and once that has happened now from your home in your laptop you have established private connectivity you can access the applications available in your office network. It is not necessary office and home is the necessity you can connect from anywhere to your home network if you have enabled VPN to that. This is just a means of understanding what is VPN connectivity. Let's take another example of how private connectivity can be established. So there could be an organization who have various offices and for the purpose of their various buildings that they have, they have various networks. So this could be network 1, network 2, network 3 and network 4 and assuming all the networks have internet connectivity available they can use number one VPN across and connect to each other or they can take leased line connectivity let's say these four networks are in four buildings in four different cities in four different countries across four different continents also how do I as an organization enable connectivity between these offices option one is to lay physical cables which would be possible if these four buildings are close to each other but when an organization is spread across vast distances obviously it will not be feasible for the organization to go and set up physical cabling between their offices instead what they can do and what they are doing which is a common setup is there are network or telecom providers these telecom providers have already laid cables across cities across continents etc and as a company you can go and reach out to them telling hey give me a dedicated bandwidth 
by asking for a dedicated bandwidth you are asking the network provider to give you connectivity which will be private this is not over the internet keep in mind this is private connectivity but using a provider's network so private connectivity can be established typically taking a leased line connectivity wherein the telecom provider provides a bandwidth from their installed capacity using which as an organization you can set up connectivity between remote offices without the need of laying down your own private cables so you trust the telecom provider saying that the data is not shared with other customers of theirs and more importantly you can go and encrypt the data and put it the benefit is this is not going through the internet it is a private connectivity but then you have not laid the cable you have subscribed to the service of the telecom provider to take a leased line from their bandwidth and use it to set up connectivity between your offices so private connectivity can be in the form of vpn or leased lines and when you come to cloud each cloud provider have their own means of arranging leased lines for customers to connect from their office to their cloud networks that they have set up with the cloud provider so that's about private connectivity hope you have enjoyed the bunch of videos on networking fundamentals which will enable you to understand about what your cloud provider is offering and how you can map the fundamentals of networking to the features provided by the cloud provider thank you for watching